Hello! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. The cards I'm using for this week are The Art of Love Tarot by Denise Jarvie, our work by Tony Carmine Salerno. Let's see if we can get that all in there and then we can get it a little closer so you can freeze frame and get the spellings of that if you want. There is a website on the back. It is blueangelonline.com. There's even some verbiage there if you're interested in it. That's for the tarot portion. And the oracle cards, magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jesse Reich. And at the bottom is the website hayhouse.com. Um, and lastly, I do use dice for this. Um, they're from Amazon.com. This is what they are. Um, they're metal dice. I use the 20 dice for the major arcana. 21 is missing, obviously, but you know, I just work with it. And then for the minor arcana, um, I use the four dice, the one through four, to decide which um, element. So I start with fire, earth, water, air. That's how I do it. Fire, earth, I think so. <laughs> that, and then whatever that lands on, that's what I go with. And then it's a one to 12 dice. Um, one being the ace and twelve being the knight. I just work, it, it doesn't have the queen and king, but I roll with it, it works for me, in case you're wondering. All right, thank you for uh, tuning into this week, and now on to your read. Hello, Libra. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. Uh, that being said, these readings are valid for whenever you come to them. What do we have for Libra? Okay, there's definitely a change going on here. Um, okay, so let's see what we got going in here. Um, you've done a lot with this situation. Whatever you're currently involved in, I feel like I've done what I wanted to do here. I feel like you've been effective, um, and something new is about to show up. Um, do you know this yet? Do you know this yet? Do you know something new is showing up? Or are you ex or are you just realizing that that time might be coming soon? Two of Cups reversed, and the Death card. Eh, maybe you're quite comfortable where you are. And you're not really wanting it, but you know it's coming. I feel like you know it's coming. Um, I feel like this is something where I, this is going well. <laughs> um, you are needed elsewhere. There's a change coming. I feel like you know that, but you're also kind of like kind of sad that it has to happen. Because whatever this situation is, it's been going well. There's aspects about this that you very much liked and got very comfortable with. And the fact that this is changing may not be something you really want to happen, but you seem to be on realities. You're on the re reality kick there. We're kind of like, no, I know it will, but I'm not going to try to make it happen, but I know it will happen. Um, Ace of Pentacles is trying... There's a lot of strong cards coming in. Um, your card's coming in with the universe, which is the world. Um, so justice in the universe and the ace of pentacles coming in with the judgment in your favor a lot of strong cards coming in all at once You're gonna know when it's time for you to move forward um, It seems like it's a fairly slow transition It does seem like it's a fairly slow transition. I don't think that's in question here it's a slow transition, but it's happening. And again, you liked what you were doing because it was going well. And when it's going well, it's nice to keep something that's going well, is it not? So this isn't in question, I, get, I keep getting. But the change is coming in, okay? People are giving you options coming forward. Um, there's a lot of options here that you're gonna have to think about for a while. This reminds me of like somebody saying, you know what, there's four or five different destinations you could go to at this next stop, but we're not going to be there for a couple days. 
and other people are getting their chance to decide we're not going to take your answer on where you're going to where you want to go until we get there so when we get there you just need to have your answer ready we don't want it before that so that gives you time to like decide what you want but you also have time to change your mind this is not the difficult part this is fine a lot of earth energy coming in with you like it's it's slow moving but it is moving um slow moving but it is moving it's fine not a, I'm not having any problems with this. I just want to like verify that because I'm like, it may be going a little slower than you really care for, but at the same time, maybe it's not that bad. Two of Wands and the Judgment in your face. Well, the Judgment reversed. Like, no, it's going slow because if I make a quick jump, I, know, I don't trust that. And I feel like that's where you are with it. Kind of like, no, I need to know what's coming in. I need more information. You know, before I pick my destination, which direction I want to go, I kind of need to know more about what's down these roads. So it's not really like a luxury that... It's not a good luck. You could make a fast decision is what I'm getting, but I kind of get you naturally won't because it's like that would more lead to greater possibility of disaster. So it's kind of like, no, I need to know what's down these roads because there's certain needs, there's certain things I have to have done. So I need to find out which one, which, which, what's down these roads and what gets me closer to what I actually need and what I actually want versus just kind of going, I'll take that one, it looks good. So I need more information. It's fine. Maybe I'm just over-questioning it. So it does take a while, but there's going to be a moment where you have to choose, right? You're going to have a lot of information. The Six of Cups makes me feel like you're going to have a lot of information when it's time. You're going to know what's down each road. I feel like I have the foresight to know like what's who's been down that road, what are their experiences, what can I expect on this road. Uh, there is The Six of Cups is usually a history card, is what I'm getting. The past. It says the past. Somebody else's past or knowing what you need. It's like there's knowing what's down these roads. You know the choices. You know where things could go. And the thing is, it's time to go. When it's time to go, you're going to already know. People are, You're going to have reference from other people who have been down those paths, is what I'm getting. I feel like that's what that's talking about. Now, this part, this part is an interesting thing. Because what I'm getting is, you don't want to go down the road that other people you like are going. Because I feel like there's this tendency to go where the group is going, or go where a lot of other people are going. This, this is, they're saying don't do this, ironically. Um, this will not serve you in the long run. In the long run, it really won't. Um, where you need to be, where you want to be, by following this energy is going to take you away from that or not bring you where you need to be. Um, that is very, definitely counterintuitive. Can I get a little bit more from that? That's, I feel like they're saying don't go that route. Don't go where other people are going. Don't go where other people want you to go. Um... That's not for you. I feel like that's going to dud out for you. If you go down this road where other people are going and other people are like, oh, that person's down that road and this person's over in this road and I like them, so I'll go there because I already know I have allies over there. Don't, go, don't do that is what they're saying. Don't go that way. It would make sense why you want to. It makes total sense why you want to, but it's not going to work for you. It's going to stagnate and it's, gonna, it's not going to be good. You might end up having to backtrack, which is time wasted. Um, what they're saying to go towards, you're going to know where you're needed. You're going to know where you're needed and there's stress down that road. But you also know there's success down that road. It's not the easy choice, but it's the best choice. Can we get a little bit more about that too? A little bit more. Because I feel like I'm like I'm kind of shying away from this choice. Kind of like, yeah, but there's some conflict down that road. And I'm not really sure if I can trust people down that road. That's where your Ace of Pentacles is. You know where your Ace of Pentacles is, is what I'm getting. You don't go towards your allies. You don't go towards the roads that you, you're like, that would be enjoyable. <laughs> Ironically, because I understand why you would choose that way. It makes sense. Totally makes sense. But it's not going to bring you where you need to be. It's not going to take you towards your success. I also kind of get for a lot of you... Even if you choose incorrectly, you'll end up in this area at some point anyway. But it's like, if you go there directly, you go with, you go in with an advantage. If you end up indirectly over time, it's 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 ten times the struggle it had to be. If that makes sense, 
it's kind of like if you go back to high school, it's kind of like taking that English course that you're just like, I don't want to do that. Or the history course or whatever course, math course, whatever it is that you don't care for. And it's kind of like, I don't really want to do that. So I'm not going to add that in. I'm just going to not do it. And then, you know, 10, 20 years goes by and you're like, oh, I wish I took that because now I need it. And now I have to learn it anyway. Um, and if I had just learned it then, it would have been a lot easier now. And it's kind of like now it's like I have to actually learn it and use it as I'm learning it versus I could have just learned it and had that relaxed energy of just kind of going through it when it was just a class. Now I have to know it because I have to use it immediately. That's kind of the difference. Um, you're, I feel like you're going to know... You're going to know the path that you should take. You're just not going to want to take it, is what I keep getting. Because the Ace of Pentacles shows up on the dice, but it also shows up here. <laughs> this is where you're supposed to go. Um, it, I keep getting like, eh, I understand there's success there, but I don't really want to do that. Like, I, I like math, so I feel like this is counterintuitive for me to say this, but I'll say this. It's kind of like going, if I go down that road, I'm going to need to know how to use this math and that math and the other math, so I'm going to have to, like, figure that out and use it and it's going to become a daily thing. Meanwhile, the promotions, the money, the connections, what I really want out of life is down that same road. But it's just like, but I don't really want to do that stuff. I like this other stuff, but I don't really want to do that stuff. That's the road you need to take. I feel like when it comes to you, you're going to know. Um, because there's, there's a lot of learning that's going to go on in this new road. The Ace of Pentacles kind of... Well, the Ace of Pentacles does say that, in my opinion. You got this coming in, too. You got the Hermit card, which is the number nine, the Retreat Contemplation. And you got the Knowledge card. It's going to go slow going, but you need this information. You need this to work out in your favor. This, comes, this brings that information on your terms to where you can really excel with it. You have time to really mull it over, you know, get those high grades, so that way when you have to apply it, you know what you're doing. You got it. You got it down. Are you going to enjoy learning it? No, but it's a lot more enjoyable to learn it when you don't have to be stressed where not only do I have to learn it, but i got to use it at the same time. That's a lot worse. So that's what this reading is trying to head you towards. Kind of like you'll end up there anyway. It's just a lot easier this way. It's just 10 times harder the way it has to happen later if you kind of go a different direction. Um, this also is an empowering reading to where if you see these two options and you're like, you know what? I'll do it that way because if you choose, if you consciously choose and you're like, that's how I want to do it, I'm fine with it, that's your business. There's not a wrong answer. It's your business. So I'm not trying to like, I hope it doesn't sound like I'm trying to railroad you into something because I'm not. I really don't want that. Choose with, just, they just want you to know what, down each path you're going to end up over here anyway. If, you, if you're like, you know what, that's, I can work, maybe you work great under stress. All right, then that's your thing. That's fine. If that's what you want to choose, cool, cool. Do what you got to do. If you're coming to this reading, though, I feel like they're just trying to empower you to know where things are going. So if this reading is hitting, they're like, "This is you're going to end up over there anyway. It's your terms how you're going to get over there. All right, I think we're good. I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.